And as we mentioned, schools in the Orange Zone have to go fully remote next week, but they will have the option of reopening again if they meet certain testing criteria. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us what parents and teachers are saying now about this rollback to where we were eight months ago. But I think every school is struggling right now to kind of, you know, we're trying to work with our families and reduce the risk of this as much as possible. But the virus is tough. Mount St. Mary Academy in the town of Tonawanda went all remote Monday, three days ahead of Governor Cuomo's announcement that all schools in Erie County's Orange Zone must go fully remote by next Monday. Principal Catherine Spielman says with rising COVID cases in the community and new school testing requirements, she felt it was time to shut down in-person learning. As much as it was like, I think, disheartening and like you kind of ache because we've been in person all first quarter and to not be able to be with the girls for this short time felt really hard. But the governor says schools in the orange zone do have a test out option. But the schools can reopen if they stay closed for four days, they clean, uh, and then they test people who come back in. After that, schools in the Yorn Zone must continue weekly testing of 25% of students and staff for in-person learning. But for now, teachers in the Kenton School District say they're prepared to shift back to all remote learning next week. We're definitely more prepared and we have a lot more tools in our toolbox for remote learning. We've also brought home double books, so we have books at school, we have our supplies at home. Two Kenmore West High School teachers invited us into their classroom through Zoom. They say the Kenton District has provided them with new platforms to improve remote learning. And these Kenmore West teachers say they're constantly reevaluating to make sure that no student gets left behind in remote learning. We are trying to encourage them to share or present their screen to us so that we see that they're on base. I joke that I feel like an air traffic controller sometimes because I have my laptop from home, my school laptop, and then my screen, and I have all of them going at the same time to help kids at home. We all have the same end goal, which is to be in person, to connect with our students. So we ask them and remind them to stay safe. In the town of Tonawanda, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.